what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clear on the front Give me a G, I ain't Hercules Pop me a perk, make a pergola Grinch the bitch, I don't think you deserve a lane What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani And you're tuned in to another talk of the town interview And who do we have in the building today? <laughs> Shawnee Bin Laden, man Boogie Man Wick I mean, like, finally, because, yeah, like, it's about damn go time that you fact. pull up to the studio. So, how you feeling? You know, your tape just dropped. Yeah, how man. how you feeling? I'm feeling good. Like, I'm feeling good. I just had a release party last night. Shit it looked like great. everybody popped out. The yeah, whole city popped out. Zoo. That's a fact. How is that? Like, when you have an event and you have so many people who show up, like, I saw the lines was wrapped around the corner and everything. Fact. Like, what's that feeling like pulling up to the spot and seeing so many people there for you? I mean, it was overwhelming. I just seen the police. So I'm like, damn, I got to hurry up and get no, in there. Like, uh -huh. But they was really fucking with it, too. They ain't even Okay, because they knew the vibes. That's a fact. So the energy was good. Yeah. Everybody was just yeah, everybody doing their thing. That shit was, like, that shit what's was been, fun. like, the reception for your project so far? Like... I don't know really like <laughs> you don't know like what people say because like, listen like, honestly don't... like it's been mixed like it's been mixed like some people say it's my best tape yeah like, i've seen a lot of people say saying that tape, you know so that means it just keep getting better and better yeah. i see a lot of people jacking the project though i'm not even yeah, gonna lie yeah. and i know you see it too because you be reposting everything yeah. that people post and it's like it's dots everything at this I point it's gonna, not even lines at this story. Gonna be lit anyway so, so period like, talk your shit so fact. what we're gonna do real quick is a little icebreaker. We're going to do two truths and a lie so that right. the people could get to know you because I feel like you don't be putting yourself out there, out there. So let's get to know Shawnee a little bit. So right. give me two truths and a lie and I'm going to try to figure out which one the lie right. is. I love Louis. Um, I love Dior. And uh, I love Tom Brown. You love Louis, you love Dior, you love Tom Brown. I know you love Louie. Well, I'm going to assume you love Louie based on context clues because I know about you. Um, hmm. Tom Brown or Dior? I'm going to say Tom Brown is the law. Exactly. It's the lie. Okay. <laughs> See, you know what? It's fine that you chose those two, those yeah. three things to be your two truths and a lie, but I thought you was going to get a little more personal with it. Like, we want to know you, nah. but it's fine because we still going to find out. All right. So let's just jump right into it. So I know um, on O3 What City, on your cover art, you had what? 191st and Woodhall. That's a fact. Is that where you're from? That's a fact. Okay. So talk to us a little bit about growing up in Queens, like what that was like. Um, growing up in Queens, um, that shit was just like regular Queen shit. Like, what's regular Queen shit? Like regular hood shit. Honestly, I'm a Brooklyn like, girl. I don't know nothing about Queens like that. I mean, Queens is just like fast, like fast living. Like, you just is it? Yeah, I mean, my side. I can only speak for my side. Okay. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, we fast living. We get like we grinching. Uh huh. Twenty four seven. Like, what that mean? Grinching? Cause the Grinch is a big part of your your brand. What yeah. What does Grinching mean? Um, I got that shit from my brother, yeah, yeah, my little brother, yeah, yeah, and shit. Like uh -huh. it's like a whole movement, it's like a walk of life, like Grinching, like trapping, like everything is Grinching. Like it could be in a positive way too. Like if you going to college, you Grinching your way to college. Like you just huh? Grinching. That's like, interesting. So it's really one of those context things. You just fact. use it how you can. That's a fact. Okay, so like before you started getting lit, like what? How was you moving? What was life like for you? Like, Ain't moving away like towards like moving out of the hood, you saying? No, like before oh. you start, because now of course you lit, everybody yeah. know who you are. But That's before fact. that happened, like what was Shawnee like before the fame? I mean, I still had a little hood fame, but like it was just like Okay. Regular hood. So you thing. was already yeah. known before yeah, you started making known. music uh, and stuff. Okay, so then moving into when you started making music, how did that all come about? Um I started fucking with my son for a 50 and shit. Mm -hmm. So we started making some shit. And then we just formed YTV or whatever. So mm -hmm. Everybody was just on some rap shit. We was getting wild good feedback. So we like, fuck it. We're going to be on some rap shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're going to get into the YTV of it all. So that's how you started making music, though. Hell yeah. That's interesting. So, of course, I have to ask you, was Shawnee Bin Laden the name while you was hood famous? Or was that the name that came after you started making no, music? Always Shawnee Bin Laden. You was always Shawnee Bin Laden. Yeah. 
One thing I'm going to say, I said, this nigga really don't care. Because your name is Shorty Ben Laden. You from New York. Like, clearly we already know what comes with the last name Ben Laden. So, how did, like, you even decide to make that your name? Um, Niggas really call me Shorty Ben Laden because I drop bombs. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> That's like not that. OD. That's some yeah. real New York shit. Like, <laughs> when bro come through, it's like, nigga dropping bombs on this shit. It was, like, back then, though. So, uh-huh. Like, I just ran with that shit. I mean, it's like different rappers with that type of context. It's like mm-hmm. it's like Dex Osama, it's mm-hmm. Osama. Like, what? Well, Cause I'm using the nigga last name. I'm wrong. Like, I mean, but you fuck, know, like, what's the difference from that? Like, you know what though? Like, I think the name in itself is like damn. But yeah. I think like as somebody that listens to your music, mm-hmm. I don't even be thinking about it like yeah, that. It's yeah, like I'm once you tapped like in, that. it's like all right, that's just his name. Yeah. Cool. But, of course, I had to ask you where you got that from. Oh, all right. So, like, we were just talking about Boogeyman Wick just dropped. Mm. You said the people have been receiving it kind of 50-50. What are your thoughts on the project, though? Like, I mean, that shit fire. The people love it. Honestly, I wasn't saying it like that. I was just saying, like, they just telling me, like, oh, shit fire, shit fire, shit fire. Like, I got to really, like, I want to see it as in stream-wise. What I mean? Like, you want to see I mean numbers. That. Like, I want to see the numbers because mm-hmm. I'm doing my shit independently. Like, right. So. When niggas saying, like, yo, this is the best tailing. Like, let me see if it's the best right. tailing at the end of these three months when this shit come in. Right. So what, like, for somebody that doesn't know about, like, how numbers work, like, to you, what what numbers would you want to see that would show you that, like, it's actually doing what it needs to do? Shit, like, a couple million. Like, mm-hmm. at least, like, three, four million. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Like, mm-hmm. I was okay. surviving without that before. So. Right. Okay. Okay, well, I will say you got some bangers on there. <laughs> um, Double Cup Love is my favorite. But then I also wrote down Wick Tango because yeah, that was a bop right. too. Now, what do you think are like the most underrated songs for the people who are just listening to the ones that get reposted a lot? What songs would you tell people to like to tap into um, that they haven't? Wick Nation. Um, okay. Fever. Yeah, like those types of shits like that. Mm-hmm. I like those. Okay, so now, one thing about you is you gonna drop a project. You gonna drop a few projects in the same year, and I really can't like it blows my mind because it's not even like a little ten songs here, mm-hmm. a little EP, six, You're seven songs. You be dropping close to twenty songs on every project, and this year alone, including the deluxe for Mary Wickmas, you dropped five projects. And I'm assuming we expecting another one. Yeah, December. How do you do it? Like, I mean, like by the time I drop that shit, I'm on to the next project. Like, so how how many hours on average would you say you spend in the studio? Or how many days rather in a week would you say that you spend in the studio? Uh, we be in that shit every day. Honestly. Every day. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it makes sense. With how many Definitely. songs you got? So, do you feel like the quality or let me say it this way. Do you feel like the quantity of songs that you put out affects the quality of music at all or the amount of time that you put in to just making music in general affects what you put out? I don't know. Like, Everything is a I hit. Don't know. Like, I think just staying on like staying on top of your shit, like a lot of people like get a good result and like start slagging and shit. Like, mm-hmm. like I'm gonna stay on top of my shit until I get like where I wanna be. So mm-hmm. fuck that. I'm gonna stay in the studio like until this shit pop. Like so walk me through like what your creative process is like when you in the studio. <laughs> shit, we we do this shit off the beam, so like I'm just getting high. And shit, like okay. That. I just walk in the booth. And, like, do you already know what beat you about to get on when you get in the yeah, studio? I, or is I go it? through like fifty beats. Like sometimes. oh really? I ain't gonna lie, I go through a lot of beats. So of course, as a self proclaimed king of sample drill, I have to ask you. Like you say, you go through like fifty beats. So what is it about a beat that makes you feel like that's the one that you're gonna hop on? Because it gotta really touch your soul. Like you know, certain songs you'll be like, damn. Like I remember what I was doing. When I was young when this shit came out. And shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to do no sample that don't got no meaning to this shit. I'm not just doing like. Okay. Any sample. Like. Okay. So you real selective with it. Yeah, I be passing on certain samples. So it's not always just the sound, it's the song too. It's the song too, definitely. Hmm. And I think that that's also something that like I've noticed about you and your music. Like you don't just use like trendy songs yeah. to sample. Like it may be some like low key shit that you don't even realize and it's yeah, like, oh, this shit just worked. Because niggas start juicing, like everybody start using that shit after us. So I'm be like, 
Mm, that's tea. A lot of people start using that shit at first. And you and a lot of people started using it specifically in the drill space. Mm. I ain't mad at it. I just look at it like my brother Full Phil tell me like it come mm-hmm. with the pioneer shit. Like I ain't looking at it on some like nah, it's my shit. Like niggas mm-hmm. already know the like niggas know my name, like niggas know the vibe, so mm-hmm. So with the pioneer shit. If you can remember, what was the first song that you sampled? Uh Drake. Um, what was that shit? Uh, what was that shit game? Yeah, it started from the bottom. Started like, from the bottom. You yeah. sampled Drake. And that wasn't a drill sample. That was just a sample. Yeah. So you've evolved your sound from just sample, sample beats to drill, drill sample. sample exactly. So from your experience and just from your perspective, how has that transition been? I mean, it's been good results from this shit. So I ain't, like, I ain't beefing so. You see what this shit doing now, so uh-huh. it's like, fuck it, man. And when did you notice it start picking up? Because you just called yourself one of the pioneers of drill, and I'm not disagreeing with you. When did you... Sample drill, like, not drill. Sample drill, excuse me. When did you see it start picking up, the sample drill? Just seeing everybody start using samples, like, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, nobody was really doing samples like that. Mm-hmm. Now, do you feel like you get the credit? That you deserve for being one of the I ain't gonna players. lie, I got a strong ass fan base. I ain't gonna lie, I love my fan base. Like, them niggas is not playing about it. Like, they make sure you yeah, get they credit where it's like, Nah, SB started that shit. Y'all niggas uh-huh. bugging. Uh-huh. You feel me? Like, okay. Now doing them sandwich shits like 015, like back in the day. Like, you started making music what year? Like 2014. I was mm. recording on my phone on SoundCloud. That's when you record yourself on SoundCloud, mm-hmm. play the beat next to your phone. And you wow, you just took it way, way back. Yeah, so. And now you're here. So do you feel like, like, I don't want to, I feel like we should always be grateful for where we are. But are you, like, satisfied with where you are right now? Where do you see yourself going? Like, Yeah, I'm real satisfied, honestly. Like, Okay. I, ain't gonna lie. I made like a good living. Like a lot of people, like that's why I be un- don't want to be like understand this shit. Like I know I ain't getting like three million views on my video and shit, but like I'm making like averaging sixty thousand a month, like off my music. See, so like I know niggas just be like buying shit. Like, I see, but I'm like, where that shit go? Like how the niggas not living right? Yeah, I respect. I respect your perspective on yourself but i think that you deserve a lot more than what you get to be honest i feel like especially as somebody who kicked off the sample drill wave i don't think that i think you may get the flowers from your fans but they're because that's because they're your fans but i think you should also get a little more acknowledgement from people who may not be your fans that can just you know recognize it for what it is definitely um, so I know I asked you about um Mary Wickmas before. I just want to ask you real quick, since you said that we are confirmed to expect it, are we gonna actually get any like Christmas samples on there? Any holiday yeah, release? I'm gonna probably try some funny shit. Really? Yeah, oh, know, I'm like, excited. Like, I'm starting that shit up now. So. Okay. You we started it up. Now. Do, yeah. I think that would be fun. Yeah, Not the whole like, thing, but just like a little, yeah, I don't a couple. Think the whole thing. I'd be thinking that shit like corny, but like, yeah, I think I'll a couple try, like, would be shit, would like, be cute. I could even yeah. see a video because you get real creative with your videos. Yeah. I could even see something, see something working there. So, um, do you have any holiday traditions? You know, Thanksgiving coming up, Christmas coming up. Do you do stuff like with the hey. family? Yeah, I'm trying to do a turkey drive right now. I saw you post yeah. that. I'm working on that right now. Hell yeah. Is this going to be your first one? Yeah, first Okay, one. so how important is it for you to do stuff like that and like give back to the community? That shit real important because I'm doing that shit right there independently too. So I'm just doing that shit out of pocket like mm-hmm. to give it back. Like, like a lot of niggas don't be grateful for like the community as, as one. So right. I, I love my community. I ain't going to lie. I knew everybody from there since I was young. So mm-hmm. I definitely got to do that and we get that back. I think that would be dope. Yeah. So you would do it in Queens. Mm-hmm. That would definitely be dope. And I know like um, Ice and Lil TJ just did one. They had a big turnout. Okay. So I think I always like to see the artists giving back, especially the young ones, mm-hmm. because like this is our generation and the ones after us. Like it's good for them to see, like you know, definitely. that we actually care. So when it comes to your family, I know you Jamaican, and I know Jamaicans are very big on family. So what's your family dynamic like? It yeah, ain't definitely big yachty. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, my G mom, my moms, everybody, big mm-hmm. guys. But 
you know, regular Jamaica house. Mm-hmm. You know. And I know you have some um, music background in your yeah, family exactly. by way of your uncle. So how have they been receiving your music and your artistry? Um, I ain't gonna lie, they proud. So like, I'm honestly just taking on what my uncle left. Like, you know I mean? mm-hmm. So you know, I'm just doing my shit for him, honestly. Now, for the people that don't know, do you want to yeah, tell them who yeah. your uncle is? It's Big Stretch and E Money Bags. Like, mm hmm. He used to have Pac and all these people, Biggie and shit. He used to make his beats and shit, like a mad different shit. Mm-hmm. Now, do you feel, sorry, did I cut you off? No. Nah. Do you feel like that influenced you when it came to making your music at all? Hell yeah, I started doing these samples. Like, that's how I came up, even with Head Up. Like, mm-hmm. that shit. Like, I was doing two Yeah, we're going to get into that, yeah. too. <laughs> so, you, so, you were influenced by the music that you were hearing them play and the stuff that they were involved yeah. in. Uh, that's dope. Definitely. That's dope. Okay. So now, when it comes to, of course, I just asked you about your family. When it comes to, like, you started getting money, you was doing your big one, like, was there a big purchase for your family? Like, w- did you do anything to, like, give back to your family when you started my getting it? My mom was, like, a crib. Like, I got my mom a crib and shit. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, definitely. Shout out to your mom. Okay. And now, what about the ladies? Nah. <laughs> you wasn't spending no money on a lady, Shawnee? Nah, Okay, I asked you about past tense. What about now? You be spending? You not a spender? Nah, I ain't spending on no lady. Really? I'm so surprised. Why not? I'm a Grinchster. What that mean? Gentleman. The Grinch could be nice every I'm once a in a while. Not a gentleman. Okay. <laughs> well, damn. Who hurt you? Nobody. That's just the way it is. Yeah, I mean, no, like, I ain't saying I wouldn't do it, but. I just not I yet. Do it, but like, not. I ain't doing that. <laughs> you say you not saying you wouldn't do it. You not saying that you didn't do it. Yeah. You just say you don't do it. And yeah, not when the money came. I did it before that. Like, oh, you did it before the money yeah. came. Okay. Yeah, why is that? Like, and we will get into this. Like, I feel like we 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 too ahead of ourselves here. But <laughs> like, why not? Do you just haven't found the right girl? Like, is it like is it yeah, just I you a little stingy with it comes to your money? Nah, I just ain't fun to make girls. Okay, that's fair. But like I, I said, I go on dates. Like I take girls out. You do? Yeah. But you, you just not spending too much. No gifts. Yeah. Date, no gifts. Yeah, we dates. Dang. Okay. All right. Well, they definitely be tapped in. They be reposting the music. I feel like they low key be shooting a shot when they be tagging you with stuff and with the music. I feel like they they be wanting you to see that's it. Why they ain't getting no gifts? I got to real. You gotta make, everybody gifts. You gotta make sure they not in it for the opportunity. Yeah, so like when it comes to making your music though, do you make the music with the ladies in mind or are you just yeah like come on that double cup love like shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I made that, like, on some... Oh, yeah, because that had me... I already told you, yeah. yeah that was that definitely had, one of my things. Like, um, blackout shit, the blackout night, that shit was for the ladies. Like, mm-hmm. I made a couple shit for the ladies on it. Okay. Well, they be tapped in. And not only do the ladies be tapped in, but you also have, like, an alternative crowd that's tapped <laughs> in. I don't know what to... I don't know that what was, to call it, but it's definitely a different crowd because I saw you had performed at um the Box Boys oh, event. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a whole mosh yeah, they pit. Was <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even know I was pulling up to that shit. I ain't gonna fuck. So is that something that happens, or was that just like a? Yeah, that's how they do. Like, I ain't gonna lie. What you think about that? They be fighting fuck for it. fun you know, when you it. performing. I don't be can like fuck it. Tee up. I mean, at least they enjoying themselves. Right. So like, who do you? But like, who do you make? Well, I know we just kind of talked about this, but, like, is there a specific, like, type of path or genre when you make your music that you have in mind? No, nah, that's why we made, like, I feel like I, my shit is my own genre. Like, I go at my own pace. Like, certain mm. people like, yo, he rapping fast. Or certain, but certain people be like, nah, I caught it. Like, certain you shit, have like, a very interesting way of rapping. Yeah, like, certain days, I think it's, it's very up. interesting. And it works for you. That's like, right. I was saying before, I feel like... G Herbo does this, Blueface does this. Like, mm-hmm. y'all don't have the same sound at all, but like, right. y'all just be rapping. <laughs> and it's like, if the beat catch it, it catch it, it, catch it. it. but it works. Like, that's it sounds fact. good. So, that's like, fact. I don't know how you do it, but keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, in 2010, you introduced us to Sean Wick. 
And then after that, it's been Wick ever since in the titles. Yeah. So talk us through that. How did that come about? With the Sean Wick shit? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Like, another time we was in the studio, nigga sound like, nigga was like, yo, that shit sound like you wound in a booth. Like, sound like somebody done killed your door. <laughs> 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 nah, that ass though. Like, real shit. Like, we just be in the booth. And so then you took the John Wick reference yeah. and ran with it. Yeah. yeah? So what's the difference? Cause you have you, <laughs> you have mentioned that there was a difference in your sound. I forgot where you said it, but you said there was a difference in your sound between Shawnee Bin Laden and Sean Wick. That's a fact. Now, what's the difference between the two? I mean, I just feel like I grew. Like, everybody thought I was going to just stay like that. Like, mm-hmm. I just grew with my music. So mm-hmm. that's the difference. I was young, and now I'm older. And what do you think contributed to your growth? Was it you just listening to your stuff or I just like trials and tribulation, like just going through shit, like mm. honestly, like so growing up, like shit out like, experience. Yeah, just real experience. Do you get feedback from like people on your team or anybody else about the music that you putting out? Always. We all together, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So like if they be like ain't feeling this shit, like, oh hi. Right. If okay, that's not, what I was about to ask you. And niggas ain't bothered to this shit around. I'm like, nah, I'm about to do this shit over. Like, okay. There's plenty of time. Like, yo, take all that shit over. I'm about to do this shit over. Like, and you do it over new words or you just do it over a scene? Oh, yeah, wow. Okay, so they so they keep it honest with you yeah, when yeah. something not working. Of now, of course, in return, do you do the same? Because I know you got a lot of friends that make music. Of course, definitely. You tell them if they should work. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you have, speaking of your friends, you have a lot of features with them. Like, most of the features that you have are with your friends. What's that about? Not with the gang, we ain't doing a feature. No rap cap. Like, Boy. Like, because I'm not, like, I don't really do features a lot. Like, um, you can pay for the feature, though. Okay. So, you do yeah. features, but only if it's some monetary funds yeah. behind it. Yeah, that's a fact. Because what I'm getting out of this shit, like. You don't feel like features help artists at all? Yeah, definitely. So, that's what you would be getting at? That's why I got a whole squad for. Like, you real loyal. Definitely. That's, I, I love got, that for you. Yeah, I got my niggas I came up with. I got the generation on us. Like, yeah, y'all so. don't see, but they in here are so deep right now. Like, it's <laughs> really crazy. <laughs> okay. Like an army and shit. So, all right. So, I guess this kind of answers my next question. Because I noticed that you have a feature with Lee Drilly. Nah, that's uh What's that? That's crazy. Like, um, it's a name named Eda uh Fit It. His name is Eda Fit It. It on SoundCloud. Like he had took he had took like a um clip like a, and oh, Okay, it cause it's even on your Apple music. Yeah, it's on there, but it's submitted by him, not by me. See, I was like I had, that's an original song with a D my my son from Detroit. Okay. Well that makes yeah. a lot of sense now. No offense to Lee really. But right, yeah, I was right. trying to figure out, out of like all the features that you would you, like you could have done, where yeah. did that come from? So that's not an ofi- official feature. Nah, that just happened. Like, like okay, put the lyrics, took the nigga I did the song, with and then just put you put, on it. it. No, put See, him on it. That was my song with another. And then person. they put him on it. Yeah, See, him. I didn't know that, yeah. so you just told me something because I definitely saw it in your Apple yeah, the music, song is and out I, and I know, and that's why I was like, the original song is out too on the dude's like album and all that. Taking him out of it, who not Coach Joey, believe really, who would you want to work with in New York if money wasn't a thing, if you know you were just doing stuff for the love? Are there any any artists that you would like to work with from New York? I mean, yeah, like I mean, not in particular, nah, honestly. Like, I work with I work with a lot of artists already. I'm saying, like, if I ain't already worked with you, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like I already worked with everybody. That's interesting. I mean, yeah. The newest person I started working with, well, I just worked with, was Maya. And I love that. Yeah, and I'm open to feature. I'm just saying, like, if it happened, it happened. I'm not right. It has to be I'm organic, gonna, though. Yeah, definitely. I I'm feel that. Okay. Now I have to ask because I saw the name of the song was "Love You Better." Y'all use the baby smile too, dang. <laughs> Y'all use that? Oh, you not you not gonna give us no tea? I don't know. We'll see I when it. Mind. We'll <laughs> see when it drop. But I'm just gonna say, if you did use that, I think that's so fire. Shout out to Maya because she really doing her thing. What do you that's think right. about the state of 
the New York music scene right now in general. Oh, that shit fire. I ain't gonna lie. New York doing their thing to me. I feel like mm-hmm. New York is definitely on to something. We on on to sun. something. Definitely okay. On to something. So. Okay. Got to keep going. Okay. Now, when I thought. When I thought about asking you this, something that came into mind was when you were reflecting on your conversation with Virgil and he said that he felt like the world needed a reset. Mm-hmm. And following that, he not said the world needed an update. An update, excuse yeah. me, an update. And following that, Diddy said that he felt like New York wasn't doing what we needed to do. <laughs> Diddy said we in last place. And I felt like the two kind of went together in a way because you were saying that we needed an upgrade, and Diddy is saying that we in last place for the same reason. On that, in general, do you feel like we're in a place where we need to like? I mean, I think we fine, man. Niggas just gotta stay on track and don't be lazy. Like that's it. Mm. Like, ain't shit. Ain't nobody in no fucking last place. We ain't in last place. So, so you disagree? Yeah, I disagree with that. But do you see like where he? Do you get where he was coming from? Just I mean, playing dab- like, double I, mean, I, I understand what he mean as in, if he said like in unity wise, like mm. like we don't come as one. Like. I think he was more so saying like the originality of it all. Like mm-hmm. we hopping on these drill beats, the trap beats, and, and everything. Doing but now. there's like they doing samples now. Shout out to you. They doing samples now. The industry doing samples now. Niggas from down south doing samples now. Mm-hmm. Everybody doing samples now. I did Waukesha before money back. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Yeah. yeah. That's a fact. Now, when it comes to your beats, um, who who makes your beats? Do you have a producer that you like a go to producer? Yeah, my ATM niggas, honestly, like Chubby, Stronghold, um, Biggs, Tega, mad different. It's mad of Nat. Now Carlos, mm-hmm. even my boy Stunt, that's my engineer. Like, mm-hmm. It's mad different. Like, of course, I have to ask Killa. you, you the king of drill, and we had Cash pull up. So Shout drill. out to Cash. And, you know, he produces beats as well. Like, have y'all worked together? Have y'all? Yeah, we did are work y'all working? Cash before. Mm-hmm. Are y'all still working together? Or? No, we ain't doing nothing. Recently. Okay. Well, shout out to Cash. Shout out to you. I feel like y'all both holding down the sample drill shit in New York. So, um, we are about to play a little quick little game. All right. So the game (laughs) No, I didn't tell you about this one. You gotta be on your toes when you come to the Talk of the Town studio. So this is a real quick game. We're gonna do underrated and overrated. So I'm gonna read you a few categories and you're gonna tell me if you think that this is underrated or if it's overrated. All right. Boogie Man Wait. Yeah, I I get it. Underrated. Okay. School. Underrated. BBLs. Overrated. Strip clubs. Overrated. Writing your own raps. And making a point to say that you write your own raps. Overrated. Giving people their flowers. Overrated. You think giving people their flowers is overrated? Like... I mean, if it's, it depends on how the situation is. But you feel like people do it for clout? Is that yeah, why you're saying like that? Yeah, certain people do it for clout. Yeah. Certain people do it like, I want that shit organically. Like, yeah, it's like, don't say it. Mm-hmm. Don't say you fuck with me just to say you fuck, fuck with me. me. Say you fuck with me because you actually Definitely. do. All right, I feel that. Radio. Like, radio plays. Mm. Nobody really care about radio plays, though. Like, so that shit, like, overrated. Right now. Okay. I'm not gonna disagree. I, I fuck can't with even it. tell I you. Mean, the last I fuck with the radio. I just went up there, but I'm just saying, like, like my generation. Yeah. Is overrated, like. And you got an OVO sound play definitely. coming, so I know you still tapped into the radio, definitely. but I definitely can I understand. Am. I definitely understand. We come from YouTube pranks. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not with you. Not fucking yeah. with the YouTube pranks. Yeah. Okay, dressing down and designer clothes. Yeah, it's overrated. Overrated? Yeah. Why you say that? I mean, everybody doing it just to do it now. It's a trend now. Mm-hmm. It's not really professional. Yeah, like... It's for name. Yeah. You gotta really put that shit on. Like, you gotta... Like, certain niggas ain't just... Uh, ah. Yeah. Like, you put on Certain niggas be mixing. Like, <laughs> mixing this shit up. Like, I ain't doing nothing. Okay. All right. New York City. We underrated. Underrated? Why you feel like we underrated? Like we were talking about earlier. 
Like, it's not enough unity, so. Okay, yeah, so you feel like the the music scene in New yeah, York? Yeah, everybody underrated. fighting for the same spot. Like mm. everybody forgetting the main objective, like to get this money, get a body, or whatever the case may be. Like, mm-hmm. which I think is possible mm-hmm. if everybody would kind of just take a second to relax yeah. and just okay, and getting sturdy. <laughs> 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 what you think? Overrated, underrated? Yeah, I'm fifty fifty with that one. All right, let me hear both sides. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's overrated. That shit overrated because, like, like, every video, everybody gets sturdy, but then it's, like, it's underrated because, like, certain niggas really took their time and <laughs> made that shit a, a trend. Like, uh-huh. I ain't going to lie. Like, I ain't going to take that from them neither because my young boy be doing that shit too. Right. Like, I be playing around doing that shit. I feel like it reminds me of, like, the getting, like, era a yeah, little bit. Definitely. Because it was a point in time where, like, niggas was shaking the shoulders, getting, like, fact. to all the songs that had the beats where you could do it to. So now it's like, you know, you hear a little beat. But you, you, ain't know, had like you, you ain't had a gangsters all them shaking. The like gangsters, videos, the gang. Okay, maybe they were. <laughs> they were still in. Maybe they were baggy gang- jeans. And- <laughs> they was dancing gangsters. Listen, now shout out to the gangsters that was Harlem shaking, cause y'all the real ones. Listen, I, I know a couple gangsters that was getting light. I Me, mean, I be getting sturdy. Oh, so look at you. I be playing around, no, like I'm not about to be serious. Okay, well, I'm we'll, bugging. Like, after this, I want to see my performing. I'm yaya bobbing. I'm like, that's all I do. Like, okay, after this, I want to see you get sturdy. All right. All right, so now talk me through Yellow Tape Boys because I know you and it was forty fifty, right? Four fifty. Four fifty. Sorry, um, y'all founded that together. Talk us through that. How did that come about? Um, my boy had made a song and shit, and one of our mutual friends, my boy Better, like he was just telling him, like you gotta get SP on that shit. And, like he was like, fuck it, like we wanted to making that shit happen. Like we got good feedback from that shit from the town so Mm -hmm. we just ran with that shit and just formed that shit like all the bros started rapping and okay so is it a music group like what yeah music like we all just like it's it's music and i saw y'all cypher Mm -hmm. on um on the radar shout out to y'all for that we the first like group cypher like Mm -hmm. ain't nobody did that before so how was it do y'all all all just be like cooking up together or Yeah, yeah every day and how is it having like a team of people who are like working towards the it's same? It's faster objective? and it's easier, like yeah, yeah, because we don't really be like bumping heads, really. Like. Oh well, that's definitely good. Yeah. Okay, so now when it comes to you performing, of course you have like a lot of people like YTV mm-hmm. and just other people who come along with you. When you get on stage, they all on stage with you. Hell yeah. Gang is on stage. What's walk me through that? Because that's something that I don't think I fully get all the time like what's the significance of having look, so that's many the difference like you? most of my gang like most of the members is all artists yeah so they want to see them too most of them on my mixtape so when i'm performing i gotta pass the passing mic. the mic okay yeah I'm not, like, so it, it has purpose it has purpose to it like, okay so now when you getting ready to perform let's say rolling loud because mm-hmm. you just hit the rolling loud stage in queens that's shout out fact. to you for that hold that's on before i even ask my original <laughs> question let's talk about that real quick how did, how did you feel when you, like, heard that you were going to be on the lineup for Rolling Loud? We was hyped because, like, I was dead saying that shit, like, the year before that. Like, nah, I ain't going to lie, bro. This, next year, we mm-hmm. gotta, I know we going to be on this shit. Like, and they dead hit me. I ain't going to lie. Like, and so, what, like, what was you feeling like? Like, I'm did like, you celebrate? <laughs> like, nah, I ain't celebrate. What did you do? I celebrated after. Like, you celebrated after yeah, the performance. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah. And I was like, how was it? That shit was fire. I ain't gonna lie. That was like my best experience right now. Okay, so one now. Like, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, that was one of them. Like, one of my best experiences. What was the next one? Um, the one that's coming up right now. <laughs> what, the one you got with So Talented? Nah. Which one? Yeah, that too. And we about to go to Paris. Me and oh, hold on. And I get it international with it. Yeah, Where you going yeah. to Paris? Oh, me and my boy Grau got a show, so. That's what I'm saying. Like, everything got a purpose. Like that's what happened. Like okay, bringing that's niggas fire. on the stage, putting niggas on tracks, like mm-hmm. putting the bros on tracks. Like they expanding their around too. So, mm-hmm. so how does that even work? Like something like Paris? How like some, they reach out to you and just ask you to nah, come out? He there? had a feature that came out here. Mm-hmm. What's my bro name? Yeah, my boy Shadu. Shout out to oh, him. Oh wow. Yeah. So. 
And so what he's performing in Paris is yeah, like pull up. Yeah, we performing in Paris. That's fire. Okay. You been out the country before? Nah. Oh, this is gonna be your first time out the country. That's my first time. That's gonna be so fun. Yeah. You know what? Let me take this time to just say if you don't got your passport, what are you doing? <laughs> it is about to be 2023 get your passport we international no with it cat. please okay so now what i was gonna ask you before was what are your like pre-performance like i don't want to call it a ritual because that mm -hmm. word just is like but like what do you do before you get on a stage like a rolling loud stage definitely gotta have a meal blunt a meal blunt. <laughs> what? That's okay, it. that's like that's it, a really. meal blunt bad. Like, yeah, like I gotta be good, like energized and shit. Like. Any specific meal? What's your favorite? Nah, like, I just gotta eat. Just anything. Yeah, something. I can't it go can on the stage. Chop cheese, and that's fine. Nah, no chop cheese. All right, so what you like to eat? <laughs> like any like some fast food, anything like. Oh, not okay. no chop cheese though. All right, favorite fast food restaurant? Go. Chick Fil A. Safe answer. Okay. Chick-fil-A is good. It's not accessible, but yeah. it's good. All right, I'll give you that. So, full blunt Bev. Favorite Bev? Water. Oh, I like that answer because niggas don't be drinking water. I'm sorry. All right, so head up was trending, TikTok, and on Instagram. Mm -hmm. How did that feel when you found out that it was it was trending? Yo, oh, everybody was just sending me that shit like, yo, who is this girl oh, that Coco? posted this sound? Because yeah. Coco Jones posted it. Nah, it was like a girl that posted like, It was just some sound. random girl. Like, I'm just saying she posted the sound itself. So that everybody like, yo, who was this girl getting credit for your song? <laughs> That's what I was really getting. Wait, from. so she posted it and no, nobody knew where the sound came from. Yeah, like if you mm. clicked it, it went to her page at first. Mm. Yeah, because now yeah. it's not like that. Yeah, now, now it's, it's not just, like that. Yeah, now it's you. So, but what did you feel like? Okay, outside of somebody else being the one yeah, posted, yeah. how did it feel to know that it you had trained good, like, It felt good, definitely. Did it set any, like, expectations? Because I know, like, even sometimes, like, as a regular creator, you have that, like, sound or video that goes viral, and mm -hmm. it's like you try to, like, make that happen again. Yeah, nah, did you did you feel that way? No, nah, hell no. I, I, like, it went viral, and I performed that, um, performed that role loud. Mm -hmm. Like, that was the only thing, really, like. I'm like, they got it to you for this shit. Mm -hmm. They did it. They fucking got it. Would you have performed it at Rolling Loud if it didn't go viral? Yeah, hell yeah. How do you pick which songs you perform? Shit, they got the stars on them. Makes okay. sense. Like. I mean, that makes sense. So you don't <laughs> be performing like some little personal favorites that you feel like people may have not like tapped into? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to Yeah, because that makes I sense. Sometimes I'll be a I don't like asking people what the name of songs are, yeah, but son, I'm gonna Google my, some lyrics if I hear something be I like. Bugging, he be like, he be trying to pick the list. I'll be trying to tweak the list and shit. <laughs> I'll right. be okay. So it's still some of you in your performances. Hey. So you just brought up Bob. Mm -hmm. I know he's managing you right Hell now. Yeah. Um, what are you thinking in terms of? I know you mentioned being independent a couple times. What mm -hmm. are your thoughts on being signed? I mean, if the, the if the opportunity, if the money's comes. right, like, okay, definitely, it's definitely an opportunity. Like, okay, but the bread, right? Yeah. Okay, and how has it been as an independent artist, just being managed? It's been good. That's what I'm saying. Like, I've been, I've been great. Mm -hmm. you know, so, okay, I don't really mind like staying independent. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. So for artists that may not have a manager or a team or anything, is there any like advice or any words that you would like to say of like the importance of having a team and a manager? Yeah, go get you one. You better go get one. <laughs> you can't do this shit by yourself, honestly. Like you're gonna need somebody like that. Mm -hmm. you can't do that shit by yourself. I completely agree. So another thing that I noticed about you is that you don't really be flexing on the gram. I already told you, like I feel like you like high key but low key at the same time. Yeah. Like I feel like you be outside, but you don't post a lot of stuff outside of your music. Yeah. Is that intentional? Yeah. 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 Okay. So how do you feel like Instagram is like a marketing tool? Because that's kind of yeah, like I what keep it seems in music. Like, you, like that's what yeah. it's supposed to be. Like music. Like I'm my person. Like I'm my yeah. channel. Like, Even like, down to Twitter, I feel like you. Now, this is me assuming. It <laughs> seemed like you, like, scroll on Twitter, like, and you just be reposting the stuff that, like, people say about you, like, about mm -hmm. your music. But you don't post nothing personal I, on there. Like, I'll be which I think on there. You, post, you, you, you write a little bit. 
Now, okay, since you want to talk about the stuff that you be tweeting, <laughs> you made a tweet, like, I want to say maybe it was like a year ago, and you said fat ma shouldn't be smelling like stink a butt. <laughs> <laughs> And you want to know why I thought that was so... First of all, I thought it was funny in general. <laughs> but I don't know if you saw what's been trending today with B. Simone on her podcast. She was saying that she only take about like two to three showers a week. Oh, no. Nah. And I wanted to know what you... But, but her reasoning was like sometimes she just be so tired that like she gets home and it's like she's going to choose sleep over taking a shower. You agree with How it? do you? No, I'm asking you. Do you agree with it? <laughs> I'm not a girl, though. <laughs> okay, but do you agree with nah, it? Hell no, no. So you don't be sacrificing showers for sleep. You nah, shower hell. every day. That's a fact. Everything. Okay. Now, what if you found out you was fucking with a girl, and she was only taking two to three showers a week? How? What would your thoughts be on that? She's out of here, like I she's. Out, but what if you? But I, what if you? I would you, know, like I would know. That's what I was about to say. Like, what if I you wasn't know. even able to tell that she was? I'm gonna she tell was shouting like, like that. Cause I never heard not, nobody say "Be Simone stink." I feel like she said you that. Know and, that uh, do yeah, I know? So not that, to my knowledge. Yeah, I don't know. So we can't. <laughs> not it, to my knowledge. We can't assume that yet. Like, but if you found out that a girl you was fucking with was only taking two to three showers a week, she's out of here. That's a fact. She's out of here. Gotta go. Yeah. I mean, hey, I won't say I disagree with you. That's your preference. So now when it comes to your type and the ladies that you like to date, what do you look for? I know you already said, you know, you be dating, you don't be spending. But, like, what what do you ideally look for? I don't discriminate. What that mean? I don't discriminate. I don't really got a type. Like, you don't got no type? Yeah. I knew that. I'm going to tell you why I do that. Because your Twitter, you be liking me. <laughs> I'll be seeing you. So, all right. So, you don't discriminate. Do you be shooting your shot? Nah. You don't shoot your shot? So, you wait for them to say something to you first. Mm -hmm. And what's like, how do you know what's going to like catch your attention? They got to come with it. Is it the looks? Is it Instagram presence? Yeah, all that. All of above. Okay, would you fuck with somebody in the industry? Yeah. Have you? <laughs> uh, nah. I no? I the fifth. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. All right, so um, what's something that's like a common misconception about you or maybe even a rumor that you've heard about yourself that you was like, what? Anything? Nah, I ain't hear nothing, man. Okay. Can I tell you one that I heard? <laughs> yeah, what? Okay, and I'm sorry if this is a little offensive. Yeah. So, I heard that <laughs> you got shot <laughs> while you were out with a bitch. Nah. And you took, like... Who, me? Yeah. Nah, not me. I was the wrong person. No, it, it might have been the wrong person that... They, the room was about but that was like a thing i don't know if yeah. you know or not but like that was that was literally a thing um i saw a news article mm -hmm. about you getting shot yeah. but it didn't back up the whole you was with a woman thing yeah i ain't get shot you didn't get shot nah. so where do these stories come from i don't know have you heard that yeah i hear a lot of stories see i just caught you in a lie like Cause I asked you. I mean, I don't put my. I, I hear asked a lot. you. I you hear a lot, but I don't try to keep it in. I try to keep it out. Like, okay, so you don't pay it no mind. Yeah, it go in no one mind. ear, out the other. Yeah. But you're saying that that wasn't true. Yeah, nah. That is outrageous. Some people say I got five kids, ten kids. I only got one kid. You? Yeah. I feel like you. Yeah, you even got a highlight in your in your stories. Five kids is crazy. How do you? Twenty seven. Well, five kids at 27, is, I know somebody, but we're not going to get into <laughs> We're not going to get into that. So when it comes down to, like, what we can expect from you next, I know that we have Mary Wickmas coming out. But, like, is there anything else outside of the music that you're, like, doing or would like to do? Nah, I'm just on music time right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just focusing on my music right now. 
And you you touched on very briefly when we were playing our game um, <laughs> that that YouTube shit is not it. So you wouldn't think about joining like the whole YouTube Twitch wave either? Nah, honestly, I was about to make a Twitch. That's crazy. I'll be playing du- Call of Duty and shit. I think that would be cool. Hell yeah. I feel like right now, like a lot of artists that people really fuck with, we fuck with because we like their personalities. Mm-hmm. And I feel like even what C Blue is doing, like C Blue hopped on Twitch and mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, he's making his music cool, but it's like people really tuning in because he's also doing something else, like his personality and stuff. So I like when the artists hop on the Twitch. Hey, even when Baby hopped on Kai at Twitch, I was like, okay, hey, seeing the new side. Like, so that's something hey, that you would be interested I'll in. I definitely do that. Hey. Playing games. Anything else? Yeah, nah, I think that's all. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no yeah. pranks, no nah, nothing like that. No. Why not? Because a lot of artists are tapping into the prank stuff. So oh, why, why, why is it no for you? This ain't too. That shit corny. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Fake being somebody else and all that shit. I'm good with that. Like. I feel like it could only go but so far. Like, it's kind of expected now. We, ain't we fake know it's slapping fake. The shit. We not yeah, fake like, slapping. We know it's fake. We not fake. That, not My that. question is usually like, because they be real disrespectful sometimes. Like, after a certain point, it's like, where do we draw the line exactly, between like, being in front of a camera and like, nah, you really being mad? Yeah, yourself. exactly. I'm not so you're not fucking with that. Nah, that's quiet. So I mentioned before we was talking about the designer down. I said, oh yeah, like the book bag. Mm-hmm. So what's something that you always got to carry with you? Th- give me three things that you always got on you. Money, jewelry, designer. Okay. You always got the mask on? No, nah, I don't know. Okay. It's cold as shit outside. You wasn't wearing a mask in the summer. It was some niggas wearing a mask in the summer. No, nah, hell no. You know I ain't doing that. You ain't seen me. I, listen, I don't know nothing. You just see I me see, back out I see what you choose to post. Like I said, you don't post a lot. Yeah. So I see what I see. So do you have anything for like the New York artists or just upcoming artists in general that like you've learned from your experience coming up in this industry that you feel like may help somebody who may be watching this interview? Um, yeah, like just don't sign, you know, just don't sign. No, I'm just saying, I was about to say, just don't sign so fast and just think that you're going to be lit. Like, when you sign, you got to have motion already. Like, mm-hmm. that's the only way it's going to work. Like, and what are your thoughts on the labels being so quick to sign these artists? Do you think that it's genuine or, like, what do you think about I it? I mean, it depends on, like, certain people really need that shit. Like, mm-hmm. Feed their family, so that's how I look at it. Anyway, like mm-hmm. some people really be fucked up and trying to feed their people, so mm-hmm. I don't really get mad at it. But I'm just saying, like, don't think you' about to be signed and be on Billboard tomorrow. And shit, hell no. Like if right. you, if your music whack, they was just trying to get you from mm-hmm. the whole stuff. But and something I also meant to ask you about was cosigns, because of course I mentioned OVO <laughs> Sound, but Fact. you got a big cosign hell from yeah. Drake singing Definitely. your music on live and everything. Definitely. Um, let's talk about that real quick because how did Jatu get plugged in with each other? Um, through Brian OVO Brian. Mm hmm. Oh uh, yeah, he be playing our shit for Drake and shit, so. And he fuck with it, clearly. Yeah, Drake be fucking with, with a few of the New York yeah, artists. Yeah, he yeah, he yeah, was in tune. Oh, yeah, did cool. you feel like after he was like playing your music on live and you got that co-sign, did things pick up for you? Hell yeah, definitely. Every co-sign gets shit picked up. Who else you got a co-sign from? It's a whole list. Like, oh, man, He's just fucking with the kid, clearly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how important do you think is a co-sign to an artist? Um... Do you feel like it's like a make or break? Like if you don't have no cosigns, like do you feel like it hurts you? I don't you think or? you need no cosigns, like really. If your shit is good, it's good. Yeah, it's just good, it's good. Like, okay. All right. Well, we have Mary Wickmas coming up. You just let us know. You might be hitting the Twitch wave. Definitely. Is there anything else that you would like Boogie to talk on? Boogie Man Wick out now, man. Go run that shit up, man. Yes, yeah, a whole lot of bops on that. Definitely. All right. Well. We out of here. Thank you for definitely. stopping by. It was definitely. good to have Thank you finally. You. Thank you. Definitely long overdue. Very. <laughs>